how can I create easy shadows in Canva? And not just for text, I'm talking about placing a shadow behind your photo, behind any object that you might be creating with Canva, a few clicks only. And also another cool feature that Canva just added, and that is to create easy frames around your images. So if you're ready, let's jump into Canva. What is up everybody? This is Ronnie. Welcome to another tutorial. This is the channel where you can learn how to become a master at Canva, how to learn how to design and how to better use Canva as the product to become a great designer. So if this is your first time on the channel, by all means subscribe because we have tutorials every week for you guys. And I animate the channel with Diana who you might already know. And uh, together we just want you to become a better designer and grow your business and all the good things that come with this. So today I'm going to talk about two new integrations that are just appearing on Canva. That is one, creating easy shadows and two, easily add frames around your photos. And yeah, let's go. First, let's talk about the shadows, right? Because this is something you guys have been waiting for. So let me grab a photo first. So, uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna use a photo of myself. Okay, so my uploads right here. Let me see. Okay, right. me, why not? <laughs> uh, okay, so this is me. And I'm gonna get rid of the background really quick. You don't need to, but if you have uh, the background remover, if you are a pro user, by all means do so. Just uh, crop your photo, get rid of the background. It's super easy. You will see just by the time I'm done talking, it will be gone. There you go. See, so that's great. Um, and also something new is that in order to access your background remover, if you're a pro user, now you don't have the effect button, but you have the edit button. So this is a new change also in Canva uh, when you want to apply an effect to your photos, the button is now called edit, not effect anymore. So don't freak out if you don't find the effects, this is where it is. All right, I have my photo. Now, what I want is to add a shadow to this photo. Okay, so I'm going to go to edit again, and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, and you see, you may also like, and then you have a bunch of different integrations here, and I have a new one here called shadows. All right, so I'm gonna click on this, and I, I'm just the description is saying, add shadows around your image. Take a 2D image and give it a 3D effect to help it stand out in your design. This is amazing. I will have to connect this integration, shadows, uh, to my Canva account first. It's very easy. Once I did, see, uh, I will find my shadows here. And I, I have this carousel with a couple of shadows, effects, different types of effects. I can click on see all to actually open up this new panel and see all of them. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six different shadow effects. Uh, the first one is called glow, and this is how it goes. You see, I have a glowing effect around my photo, which is pretty cool. Uh, I guess this will replace the glowing effect technique that we were using with the duotone. And I have these little settings here, very important. Before you click on apply or anything like that, you just make sure if you see this little uh, setting button right here to click on it, because look, it can, it can allow you to uh, play around with some settings. So transparency, this is pretty cool. This is gonna be very useful to create a glowing effect. And I can even change the color, which is wonderful. Let me go for something like this. And I can even stretch my photo. This is really starting to look interesting, guys. Um, let me reduce the blur here and the transparency so I have a harder glow. This is really cool. I'm going to change the color of the background. So yeah, let's give it, let's, let's give it like a darker tone. And so you can really see now the color of my glow. All right. One thing you'll have to know though, is that once you've clicked on something else, basically the effect applies and you cannot modify it anymore. If I click on glow again, it will add a second layer of glow. See, if I go all the way down on that second layer of glow, it just 
we can still see the first one. So make sure when you create this that you do everything, you get it right the first time and then you click apply. Uh, and I wonder if this works with my emojis as well. Let's try an emoji and let's see if I can add a shadow to an emoji. I believe I can because I can see the edit button. Yes, I can. So let me uh, try something else. We tried the glow, which was cool. Let's try the drop. Okay, so I'm gonna make this bigger so you see what's happening. So the drop shadow is typically, uh, it asks you for an angle. Okay, so the angle here is 50, but I could have the shadow slightly tilting to a different angle or oh, actually the shadow number is here on top so i can go from minus five to positive five and uh, zero will give you just the i would say the natural shadow you have the offset which is how far the shadow is actually from your object you see this is pretty cool and i have the other ones transparency and blur to give me a more subtle shadow for example like this uh, all right, this is actually pretty cool and I can also change the color and I can reset. Once I'm happy with this, click on apply. I'm going to cancel because I want to show you the other um, shadow effects. This is really exciting guys. I'm really happy that Canva came up with this recently because this makes life so much easier. All right, the next one is angle. What is angle? Okay, so always remember you have the settings, otherwise it's pretty random. But by clicking on the settings, and I want to make this bigger. Clicking on the settings, I can start playing. So that's the angle. Okay, so you can really tilt on one side or the other with this one, which is cool. Okay, transparency blur. Okay, let me try another one yet. Um, curved. What is the curved? All right. Oh, you see? Yes, it's kind of... I can see the curve here, which is cool. And I imagine I can curve some more. Yeah. Oh, that's the maximum curve. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the maximum curve is actually better. Seems like your image is peeling from your background. This is really cool. This looks like a sticker almost. Uh, so the offset, yep. The transparency, blur and color, perfect. Let me finish this to show you all of the, the shadow effects that we have here. Page lift. Yes, page lift is really cool. Let me see, I can curve. If I curve it, I guess it becomes similar to the curve effect. But the page lift is actually, let me see, a larger effect. Yes, it's. it really seems like it's floating above your page. And especially, especially if you reduce the transparency a little bit. You make it more subtle and you blur it maybe a little bit more. Add it more curve, not too much, but yes, you can really play around with this. So this is nice and I think there's one more. Let me find it. How is it called? Page lift backdrop. Oh, that's nice. See, this one is really like the back, back shadow. Um, horizontal angle. Okay, you can make it to the left or to the right. This is really cool. Uh, vertical angle, what is this one? Oh, look at this. You can, this is awesome, guys. All right, you can make it more or less. All right, I'm going to apply this one. I'm going to change the background for my traditional yellow color. And look at this. I can really start creating interesting designs with uh, shadows in one click or a couple of clicks. It's actually super easy to do. All right, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Again, in order to find these, just uh, insert an image. It works with a photo. You don't have to get rid of the background. You can just click on your photo, go to edit, and then you should find here at the bottom a new integration called shadows. Once you connect it, you'd have access to this panel and this is where you find all of your shadows. So pretty cool, works with a photo. Look, it will uh, add the shadow, of course, on the edge of the photo, which is cool. You can create some sorts of scrapbooks or uh, photo books uh, like this, very cool. Also, if you have the background remover, you apply it to your photo and then you apply the shadow effect directly to your cutout photos. 
or it works with bitmojis, it works with um, objects, uh, elements, very, very cool. All right, that was the first thing I wanted to show you. The second thing for this tutorial, you lucky guys, today I'm generous, there's two for one. <laughs> uh, the second thing I want to show you is the frames. So frames are also a new, um, a new integration, so very easily and very similarly to the shadows, click on your photo, go to your edit panel or edit button, and then you will find this other integration frames. Add a frame to your image, decorate the edges of your image with a simple or and creative borders. Okay, so I can browse a little bit, they give me an overview of this integration, I will connect it. And then, and just make sure you have your image selected, otherwise it won't work, you won't see that button. Click on edit and then uh, find your frames. See here, the frame section. I'm gonna click on see all to see what's in there. All right, I have a bunch of different frames. I can see laptops, white laptops, phone, white phone, tablet, Polaroid, Polaroid black, some sort of neon borders. I have some glitter in different colors. I have some old film like looking photography, paint stroke. I have some other stuff right here. So you can go ahead and play with this. I'm just going to show you a couple. Uh, for example, the laptop one. Again, don't forget, this is super important because you might miss it. There is a little setting button right here once you apply the effect. So click on it by any means. This will allow you to crop your photo, crop the position of your photo. When you're happy, just click on apply. I'm gonna click on cancel because I want to show you the other ones, uh, the other effects, the other frames, sorry. So you have your phone. I'm gonna go for a white phone, see how it looks. Like so, again, my settings can move things around. Very cool. I'm gonna cancel that as well. And let me see what else. Let's say these neon. Oh, this is cool. This is actually really interesting. Neon blue. All right, let me try something. I'm gonna apply this one and I'm going to change the color of this background to blue. You see how it's popping in there? Um, yes, so I'm going to duplicate this um, and add this photo again. I want to see something. I want to see what happens when I use this in combination with the background remover. Let's try. So again, background remover, you need to be a pro Canva user in order to uh, access this. And now I'm going to, again, select my image, click on edit and try to add a frame to this, see what's happening. Let me add this one. Wondering what's gonna happen. Okay, so it still recognizes there is a border, but this is really cool. For this one, there is no additional settings, so I cannot, um, I cannot increase or decrease the intensity of this neon. That would have been nice, or change the color even. That would have been super nice. But for now, they give you four colors, four neon colors. So you have neon blue, neon pink, neon turquoise, and neon yellow. I'm gonna go for neon yellow. Yeah, it's more like my color. I think once it's applied, you can probably apply another color as well by doing it again. So let me try, I'm gonna go for um, the pink one. Yes, you can add more layers, which is pretty cool. Feel free to play around with this, be creative. Uh, and then the last thing I want to show you if that is that it works as well with emojis. So again, I'm gonna change the color of this emoji of me. This is me depressed when you guys don't subscribe to the channel after watching such a good tutorial. So please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you don't want me to look like this guy right here. Uh, okay, let's see if we can add a frame around a Bitmoji. So yes, we can. Look, my frames are here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one. Yes, this is Ronnie in a golden circle, but a little bit depressed. All right, I'm gonna apply this and I'm going to wrap up the tutorial with this two things. Okay, so recap, we had first 
uh, our shadows, super easy shadows. I think a lot of you guys are going to love this feature. And second, we have the frames. Again, these are available for all Canva users, free and pro. So go ahead, enjoy using them. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you would love to learn next. I would be super happy to create tutorials about this as well. Again, subscribe to the channel if you like this, give us a like, and I will see you in the next video.